Hello and welcome to Just Cowboy Movie Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing Jackass Forever. Okay, so this is going to be a quicker review because it's just for Jackass Forever. Um, but it's a movie I wanted to review because I really enjoyed it. Um, first things first, this takes place 10 years after Jackass 3D. Like 10 real life years have passed and um, I think we all assumed that Jackass 3D was the last Jackass movie we would ever get. And then this came along, which was a massive surprise. Um, Johnny Knoxville and Steve-O and all of the cast, for the most part, return, and they're accompanied with like new Jackass members. Um, and you would sort of think, oh well, I don't care about the new people because I mean I don't have like I haven't watched them for 20 years, you know. But they pull their weight. Um, they do the same level of stunts that the old guys do, and the older Jackass crew does the same level of stunts the young Jackass crew does. Um, which is crazy when you think that some of these people are almost 50. And I mean, there's, there comes a certain point in your life where if you do a jackass stunt, you will be permanently harmed by said stunt. Um, I mean, obviously that can happen when you're young too, but it just gets more and more likely as time progresses, which I think is why we're so worried about this movie. Um, I personally was very worried um, because I sort of was like, Will this feel like a desperate uncle, you know? Like a, he still wants to remain cool and hip and uh, it turns off, uh, turns out to be a little desperate feeling. And I gotta admit, that's not the vibe I got at all. It just seemed like a group of childhood friends having genuine fun with some guest stars and some new members. And it is so enjoyable to watch. Um, I mean, there's not really a plot to Jackass, you know, there's just stunts and, you know, they build up on each other, you know, and little skits here and there um, that are also stunts. Um, but I don't know what Johnny Knoxville and Steve-O and the whole cast did. It's pretty fun. It's the hardest I've laughed at a movie in a while. Um, it's just so fun. And I mean... Obviously, some of the stunts don't land as well as others, um, but man, the ones that land are hilarious. Um, and even the ones that don't, you're still like with the crew and you're like, oh, this seems just like you're hanging out with a bunch of friends. And it's just so enjoyable to watch. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not really any flaws to it. I mean, it's not high art. <laughs> this is not Citizen Kane. But honestly, it's about what I wanted from a Jackass movie. Um, obviously, the stunts have to go a little bit less hard because, I mean, Johnny Knoxville, I think, is 50 now, and some of the others are about in that ballpark, too. And at that point, I mean, you do some of the stuff they did when they were younger, you don't get up. And I feel like that didn't affect the movie too much, honestly, um, because the, even the stuff they're willing to do at 50 is more uh, crazy than most of the stuff any of us will do in our lifetime. You know, like at 49, Knoxville is willing to let a bull just full on charge and blast him in the air. And yeah, I mean, I can't find you. I doubt you could find many 20 year olds who are like, yeah, I'll take a full blown uh, bull hit to just wipe, wipe me out, you know, <laughs> make me somersault through the air or get launched out of a cannon as Icarus. Um, like, the stunts in this movie are memorable and fun, and the ones that aren't memorable and fun, you just sort of forget about, but there's so many more like hits than there are misses, and it just leads to this being probably one of the better jackass movies that's come out. And I mean, it's hard to recommend this movie, because I mean, it's a compilation of stunts, essentially. Um, with not really too much plot. You're just sort of hanging out with the Jackass crew as they do fun stunts. Uh, so, I mean, if you're not into that, like if you're not into like a lot of, a lot of penises just showing up in your movie, um, like there's a lot, <laughs> so much full blown nudity, um, or, you know, people getting hit in the balls or, you know, getting hit by bowls or tased. If you're not into that stuff, you're not going to like that, this movie. That being said, if you're into that stuff, you're really gonna love this movie. Um, so I think, I don't know, I think if you're on the fence about it, I would recommend it. 
Um, it's all in good fun. Like it's never feels like it's spiteful. It's never like, uh, you know, they're like, oh, I'm going to have you get hit by a bowl because I hate you. It's always like, I want to get hit by a bowl because it seems fun and I'm going to do it around my friends, um, which maybe isn't advised uh, for safety. But um, yeah, it's a fun movie and it's one I, I think it's one of the most fun movies I've uh, seen in theaters in a while. Um, just genuine belly laughter for most of it. And I recommend it very heartily. And I um, hope you enjoyed this review. Um, yeah, uh, I have a brand new Instagram that's official. It's just for my videos now. Um, it's just uh, Calvin YouTube. Pretty simple, you know, it's just the channel name and then YouTube. Uh, not very creative, but you know, gets the job done. Uh, but yeah, follow that if you want to see the updates for this. I'm also going to post a couple behind the scenes photos and stuff of the making of. And yeah, um, thank you for watching. And, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And with all that out of the way, have a nice day.